I'm going to show you how to use one of these. A whisk. Shall we get going? Yes. Have we washed our hands? Milo, have you washed your hands? Mm -hmm. Have you? Brilliant. We're going to make some lovely pancake batter, which is a really pancake good way of practicing. Oh yeah, good way of practicing how to whisk. We need to whisk things to add air to whatever you're cooking, like meringue or even pancakes, scrambled eggs, or for an omelette. Right, what we need to do then, Milo, is crack the egg. So, can you pick up the egg, give it a tap on the side of this little bowl, tap, that's it, and then use your thumbs to help open up the egg. Hey, well done, fantastic. Brilliant, and then we use the bowl to tip the egg into that big bowl. Blub, blub, fab. And then we need to use this, the whisk. We use the whisk, we need to hold the bowl, that's it, fabulous. So Milo, you keep whisking that round, holding the bowl. Madeleine, I'm going to get you to sift the flour if that's okay. Now you can tap and bang the flour or use the back of a spoon to push it through. The higher you sift it, the more air you'll produce, which makes it lighter and fluffier. Madeleine is now going to add the milk, well done. So the next step for Madalena, she's got the milk, the flour and the egg, is to whisk it all together. We need to collect all the flour and the egg from around the side. The more you whisk, the smoother it will become. That's it, great work Madalena. Can be quite stiff on the shoulder, but just persevere. You can swap round and use the other hand as well if you need to. So Milo, why don't we add the extra egg into the bowl? And then, Madalena, you keep whisking, that's it. You poured it in. Brilliant. We're using clear bowls because then we can actually see where the lumps are. Milo, can you see any lumps through the side? Let's lift it up and have a little look. Can you see any lumps? No. No, she's doing a really good job, isn't she? Yeah. Shall I show you how to do a figure of eight? So if you want to hold the whisk in this hand, and basically you just turn back and forth in a nice big double loop like the number eight. That's really good. And then I'll show you a folding one, shall I? So this is a way that we fold. We basically pull the whisk forward and draw it back pull the whisk forward and draw it back to lift up the mixture and develop the air through it. You really can get it going and this is a really lovely way of mixing and whisking. Gotcha. Right, 